I'll start at the beginning. Well, not right at the beginning, about how I was born and everything, mainly because I don't remember all that much. I'll just start at the start of this strange day I was having. I was dreaming that my two best friends, Millicent and Dustin, were arguing with each other, like usual, while the spaceship headed straight for us. It was just my dad, wearing rollerblades. He hardly ever wore rollerblades. Come to think of it, he never wore rollerblades. Maybe his office was having a casual clothes day. Or maybe he'd been taken by aliens. And my dad was really somebody else. Hey, Dustin was waiting for me as usual. That wasn't the strange part. He puts me in a headlock every morning. But that was when I saw the second strange thing that morning. It was my dad again, with Adel's mum. I was just starting to think about it when Millicent started talking to me. She's my other best friend. You've got to make some new friends. This isn't a sophisticated way to start the day. Everybody stand in one line. Come on, girls, please stop playing and get ready. We won't Maybe be... my dream was telling us we should have stayed at school that day. There will be no excursion until I have soldiers. Instead of spending a perfectly good day in a bottle factory. Now, who will be my deputy for the day? I will be Miss Hudson. Accepted, Millicent. You've got the job. But Millicent is always the deputy. I can count too. The position has been filled. But I'm better at everything. I can run faster, I can eat faster, I can spell faster, and I'm also responsible and kind. Oh. Hey, stop shoving frog features. Mr. Thesaurus, what is the first letter of your surname? T, Miss Hudson. You're standing between D and E. Explain. I was showing the source and you not, I learned, and he moved, and I forgot how to undo it. We're going to have to sit together on the bus. You're free, Thesaurus. Retain your position in the line. My mum says that in every classroom you'll find a hiccup in evolution. Dusting's OK when you get to know him. That'll never happen, Theosaurus. I'm at the top of the food chain, and Dusting's the plankton. No, be still. Theosaurus, have I counted you already? I don't know, Miss Hudson. Everybody, stop moving! Now, we're going to have to start again. Millicent, please come and count. Someone's taking my this. You must be getting pretty scared right now. Scared? You're at the back, the death seat. I'm in the safe seat up the front, next to Miss Hodson. How do you know it's a safe seat? The teachers always pick the safe seat for themselves. 21, Miss Hodson. Everybody, moving out to the bus. <laughs> Sit over here, Thesaurus. Slide up close, Thesaurus. What are you doing over there? Thesaurus! Once a bottle is wiped, it journeys along the conveyor belt. 900 bottles an hour. 300 every 20 minutes. 100 bottles every 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Any questions? Do you still pay a five cent refund? That's right. We are the only soft drink company that still does. So, remember, boys and girls, always return our empty bottles. Now, please stay together, girls and boys. It's very important that you don't touch him. Cool. It's a deluxe edition. It glows in the dark and bounces up to 75 times in a single throw. One, two, three, four, five. 
Interesting. Why did you do that? Come on, Thesaurus, hurry up. I still feel a thrill every time I sniff the sweet syrup of stewing cream soda. And that, I'm sorry to say, concludes our tour of Sparkling Star Bottle Works. Has everybody had fun? It's over. Oh, just resting my eyes. Back on the bus! Where's the Asaurus? Where's Dusting? Tell Miss Hodson to wait. too far. Not even a Super Bowl could bounce all this way. I wouldn't be surprised if we found a dead body down here. I don't want to find a dead body. Let's go back. Man, look at all these bottles. There must be a thousand bottles here. We're rich. Find something to put them in. Come on, boys. I want everybody in their seat so we can have our lunch. Now, everybody. Friends, right? Now sit down. Children, you've heard what I've said. The driver will not go until we sit. Miss, Miss McBinder. Miss, Miss Hodgson. We get a hundred bottles at five cents each. What's that? Trey said. Millicent, what are you doing here? Rescuing you. Lucky it was only me that caught you stealing bottles. We're not stealing them. We're returning them. This is a bottle factory. They've already been returned. Well, I'm not going to leave all those bottles here. This is like finding gold. Whatever. If you want to catch the bus, you better come now. Which way? Follow me. My mum and dad don't get me to read the map on country drives just Put them to in keep them quiet. The I have a natural come sense on, of direction. Come on, Sarah. They're heaps more. What about your pack? We're going to make heaps from Come this. on. I failed to see why you felt the need to put your finger in the bottle in the first place. I wanted to see what it felt like. <laughs> Do you have to cry because I'm trying to eat? I forgot my lunch and I'm hungry. You'll be home in a few hours anyway. I don't know what the fuss is all about. <laughs> Miss, what if I get gangrene? I'll deal with you later, Max. Is everyone aboard now? Okay, have I counted you? Uh, yes, Miss Watson, this morning before we left. Come and share some of my lunch if you want. Nobody's ever shared their lunch with me before. Listen, kids. You can't have any olives or the goat's cheese. Or the yogurt. Hands up, I'm counting. Your arms up in here. Twenty one, driver. What we need to do is to keep on going straight. 
near that big boiler thing and then back up those three steps. That won't work. We need to keep her going straight ahead until we come to the ladder. Okay, genius. So where's the ladder? I was here a minute ago. <sighs> well, all that matters is you were wrong again. No way, Jose. It wasn't me that said go straight ahead after the ramp. I'm getting a headache. You're right, Theosaurus. It's lunchtime. Our blood sugar is getting low. Sit over here with me, Theosaurus, and share. Sit next to me. I'll lend you a chilli sherbet bomb. It's your choice, Theosaurus. Sit next to an intelligent, bright person with broad interests. Or a bike post. Thanks, but I think I'll just sit here and eat my own lunch. What's in the bag? A custard tart with a chocolate eclair. Wow. I made my own lunch this morning. I'll give you one sherbet bomb to keep for the biscuits, the chocolate eclair and two of your sandwiches. One sherbet bomb? Well, OK. Hold it right there, bozo. I'll give you ten pieces of dried apple, six dried figs and some pineapple pieces in exchange for the sandwiches, the salami and half your custard tart. I was first the source. She didn't even think about swapping until I said it. Trade Petty. <gasps> Theosaurus! Now look what you've done. Maybe you just fell asleep. Only babies sleep in the afternoon. Thesaurus, wake up! Yep, looks like he's dead. I need some cold water to splash on him. I need something to poke him with. Yeah, that'll really help. At least it's better than drowning him. something to poke him with. <clears throat> now we'll see if he's dead or not. stepped out to buy a packet of pegs and no one saw him again for nine years. And one day, he was fixing the washing machine and the next day, he was gone. Hi, Centre, how can I help you? Hello? Is this the helpline? Because I think I might be lost. Sadly, so many of us are these days. The good news is you've called me before it's too late. You just never know when someone's going to go missing. So, I was wondering, since there's three extra seats now, that maybe I can move across? What? Extra seats? I could move to the seat behind you. Stop the bus! <sighs> and I guess I've been wondering why my dad started wearing rollerblades this morning. But my main problem is my two best friends don't seem to like each other. OK. I guess they're in the middle of probing him right now. Thesaurus could have been a good mouth organ player if he ever learned it. The mouth organ? I don't think so. At least he was a good whistler. Theosaurus didn't whistle. He hummed his favourite song. Crackling Rosie and any kind of banjo picking music. I say we make a pact right now 
no matter what, we don't talk to each other. Suits me. Not another word. Even if you were the last person on earth and the phone rang for you and you didn't know you had food on your face, I still wouldn't say anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. It came off! Oh. Now where were five? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm sure I've counted you before. Uh oh, it's back on again. Millicent says Dusting's a hunter-gatherer from the Jurassic period. She says he's only a pair of shorts away from spending all day on his hands and knees collecting nuts and berries. I don't know why they can't just be nice to each other. <gasps> They're coming. What's that? It's glowing. They're making contact. It kind of looks like an egg. An alien egg. stayed on yours. First one to break it gets eaten alive by a thousand hungry rats. Agreed. Hey, that's not Nick. It's the source of Super Bowl. I always wanted my own Super Bowl. Trey, stupid. Now look what you've done, muscle head. This is all your fault, fungus breath. <laughs> no one invited you along, that's for sure. Somebody wake me up. I must be having a bad dream. Hi. It's me. Theosaurus! What are you doing in there? Thank God you're here. How are you feeling? Did they take you up on the mothership? What are you talking about? You've got to get me out of here, Theosaurus. <laughs> Hurry up. What's taking so long? The handle came off. It might take a minute. Someone needs to teach you about personal space. I know plenty about space. I don't mean the space between your ears. Ow! Hey, get off my foot. Look what? where you're standing. Is that what it was? I thought it was a rat. It felt like a rat and it looked like a rat. Stand on my foot again and I'll turn you into wallpaper. I'm trapped in here with the talking melon. I can feel my brain shrinking. How could it get any smaller than a pea? Hey, Dusty, when they were handing out brains, you must have been standing in the plastic straw line. Shouldn't you be standing over there in the corner? The other spiders must be missing. That doesn't even make Heard about a sound coming from the stars. It sounds like a 
She gave us three cakes of drink as a present in case we were traumatised. Dusting said empties would have been worth more, but he told Gilbert he'd let him off for putting his hand up on the bus if he helped us drink them. So we spent all afternoon drinking the bottles, and I didn't go to sleep for 36 hours afterwards. And we made nearly $4 on the refund. That's about all, except when my mum wanted to know why I ate a whole week's worth of lunches in one day, my dad said there are some things it's best not to worry her about, like him going rollerblading with Avril's mum. And he said that holding hands in a sporting context is purely professional, like scuba divers. I don't suppose Dustin and Millicent will ever go scuba diving together. I'm not sure they'll do anything together. Maybe they're meant to be apart, like chocolate eclairs and custard tarts. If you try and put them in the same bag together, they just mess each other up.